Hey there, it's Dr. Jim Collins. I hope you're having a great week. My topic this week is aging and depression. So let me start by saying this. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI, N-A-M-I, depression affects more than 6.5 million older adults in the United States over the age of 65. It's a lot of people. Some of these folks have had depress depressive episodes earlier in their lives. Others will experience depression for the very first time well into their 80s and 90s. Later life depression is associated with a lot of things, including dependence on other people and disabilities that are associated with aging. The topic of aging and loss is an important one. As we age, there's a higher risk of experiencing many losses, like losing our family, friends, income, independence, the home that we have lived in for many years. Older adults might also experience depressive symptoms that are associated with normal age-related changes like failing eyesight and hearing loss. But all of these can absolutely take a toll on the older person. And the outcomes can include very negative emotions like anxiety, sadness, loneliness, apathy, social withdrawal, and lowered self-esteem. So the consequences of depression in later life can be quite devastating. Depression in later life can be complicated, recurrent, and persistent. It can also lead to serious physical and mental consequences that can complicate the older person's health conditions and even trigger new ones. Depression can have a negative impact on daily living. Things like eating, sleeping, having energy, spending time socially, and developing memory problems are all associated with late life depression. So a very serious consequence of depression among elderly people is suicide. And late life depression increases the risk for various medical illnesses as well as cognitive disorders. Some research right now is actually linking later life depression with Alzheimer's disease. You should check that out. Google it. When depression goes unrecognized and untreated, the elderly person can be at a high risk for suicide. So I've written an article called Aging and Depression. Please follow the link below and share it with your friends. Share it with your colleagues. If you're looking for continuing education on this topic and many other topics like it, go to the link that will take you to CEU Academy. I think you'll enjoy your time there. My name is Dr. Jim. I'll see you next week.